Welcome everybody. Um, my name is Alex Apeldoorn. Uh, I am the head of product for Wallets and Services, and uh, specifically Lace. So the good thing about organizing a Cardano Summit towards the end of the year um, is that it gives us an opportunity to reflect on all the achievements that we've uh, that we've made throughout the year. So think about the proof of concept of Mithril uh, and all the staple operators that are currently using it. Uh, think about Hydra and all the achievement that they've made this year. Obviously, Vassal has been a tremendous achievement. Um, the hard work was extremely successful. Um, and obviously, Lace as well. So, when we set out to do Lace, um, we started by talking to hundreds and hundreds of users in order to understand what they would find important. And a lot of the things that came back to us was like, we want to have accurate and up-to-date information. We want to know how much funds we have, how much it's worth. We want to know more about our stake pools. Um, so we, we set out to do that. And we used as a guiding principle that we wanted to offer Web3 to everyone, everywhere, in a simple, safe, and seamless manner. Now, over the last year, um, we have verified with our users that what we've been building is indeed simple and easy to use, uh, that it is indeed an intuitive uh, interaction with Lace. We have audited our, our wallet with external auditing firms, and we've passed our, our Layer 2 security audit. Um, and we currently have hundreds of people testing Lace in order to make sure that it is indeed up to the standard that we want it to be. Now, over the course of the next couple of weeks, we will be adding more and more people to this beta testing phase. So if you haven't registered yet, please go to uh, lace.io, register your email address, and you can be part of the beta testing program and give us feedback. Now, when you set out to do a, a lofty goal as, uh, as Lace, you kind of want to start by carving out um, the core concepts. What is the minimal viable product that we can launch with? Um, so we've, we've called this the, the core wallet phase, or as we call it internally, the wallet that plays nice with others. Now what we mean by this is that it allows you to, out of the gate, use hardware wallets to secure your keys in a web environment. We have out of the box uh, the DAP connector in there, so it's easy to interact with other DAPs. And also we've adopted the CIP standards that were constructed by the community um, as a standard for, for wallets, the gold standard for wallets. No longer are we talking about the official Cardano wallet. All wallets that are adhering to the CIP standards are the official wallets of Cardano. One of the things that we're particularly proud of is um, as Cardano and a UTXO-based chain, um, we can create token bundles. The determinism of UTXO-based ch chains allow you to create very rich and interactive transactions. No longer is it the case that I just send one transaction to one person and that's it. Now, what I can do is I can send multiple assets to multiple people in a single transaction, making transactions per second a mute argument. Now, one of the other things that Cardano is particularly strong about um, is obviously its ability to, um, to stake, to delegate your stake. Um, there's no locking of funds, there's no slashing of funds, it's always in the custody of the user, and with Lace, we're offering all the insights and the information in the background on the stake pool so that the user can make an informed decision. Uh, they always have their information, their rewards available to them um, so that we really sort of adhere and listen to the interviews and the concepts that we've outlined when we set out to do this core wallet principle. Another thing that's particularly good about doing a, a summit at the end of the year is it allows us to look forward, 
to dream about what we can build in the future and make that a reality. Lace is built on agile principles, which means that a, a, a feature that we have right now can be improved and iterated upon based on the feedback and the interactions that we have with our users. A staking function, as you saw before, versus a, a delegation function like you can see here, is part of the future. Now, a good part about all the research that we've do, done with our UX team and with our UI team is that these core principles can be exported. As soon as you have an interaction pattern that works for your user, you can export it to other domains. Now, we're slowly talking about the next phase of, uh, of LACE. And the next phase of LACE is essentially about collaboration and partnership. So our first partnership is actually with the governance team. Now, what we're going to see here is that when we look at multi-delegation within stake pools, you can also export that to multi-delegation to Cardano representatives. Now, right now, we're talking about the age of Voltaire, decentralized liquid governance put in the hands of every Cardano user. This means that you can either register to vote and enact your voting power within the Catalyst uh, apps and frameworks, or you can delegate your voting power to representatives in the Cardano community. They are the ones that are knowledgeable and skilled and they will give you information about their, their past voting behavior so that you can pick the representatives that best align with the interests that you have within the decentralized governance framework of Cardano. But again, this is only the first phase of Cardano. After this point, there will be protocol voting, there will be hard fork voting, there will be special voting rounds, uh, council elections, and a whole host more. The age of Voltaire is about iteratively improving upon government principles in a decentralized world. This has never been done before, and we're breaking grounds and trying to find how we can best do this. And LACE is here to support and to help guide this forward in a simple, safe, and seamless way. Now, partnerships with just the governance team is the first step. The next step is actually creating partnerships and collaborations with the wider Cardano community, and then specifically our DAP community. In the, um, in the decentralized Web3 world, concepts as identity, trust, uh, seamless interactions haven't really existed. Um, currently, if a user wants to interact with a dApp, they typically do hours of research trying to figure out who created it, if they have a good reputation, if it's not a scam, etc. Now, if we would have a similar type of concept in the Web2 world, trillions of dollars would all of a sudden grind to a halt because commerce can't happen without trust between parties. So the idea of the Lace App Store is to offer you all the information that's possible. See user reviews, rating, but also identity, trust, reputation, and certification. The certification team is busy building standards and frameworks in order to make sure that the end user gets the benefit of knowing who they interact with, when they're interacting with them, and that they're actually buying what they want to buy. The certification framework, LACE is doing the same thing when we're doing the layer two um, audit, is, will be a standard within the Cardano community. The way that we've envisioned this is through the DAP connector. Now, when you connect to a DAP that you found either through the DAP store or through your own means, you want to make sure that this DAP is actually the DAP that you want to be interacting with. So we'll be using the SSI framework to exchange DITs and verifiable credentials to know at the point of, uh, of, the point of interaction that um, the Sunday swap or the, and the JPEG store or one of our other partners are actually the ones that you are currently interacting with. This is fraud prevention, but this is also reputation protection for the DAP developers because they can safely claim that they are who they say they are and they can build a reputation that cannot be taken away from them. We have 
in uh, inlays the concept of assets and identity right now. And this is where it starts to become interesting. Because if you have assets and identity that you can manage in one place and you can freely uh, interact in commerce, then performing swaps, um, both on Cardano itself but also in multi-chain, um, will become extremely powerful. Um, Lace is not only a Cardano wallet. Lace is a multi-chain wallet um, that is built with the standards and the software practices of Cardano. This means that the more people that use Lace, the higher the probability is, is that we can take those standards to other communities and enforce and support them in standards around safe and secure interaction in the Web3 world. With this concept, we can make the entire crypto industry a safer and better place to interact with, meaning that after that point, we can start moving towards mass adoption. Now we're talking about mass adoption. We're talking about Web3 for everyone, everywhere. That is the goal of Lace. Now, when we're talking about RealFi, this specific RealFi center was actually not designed by Lace. Uh, we're having a partnership with Pizesha that's issuing loans in Kenya um, to people that need it for interesting projects on the ground. Lace is just a facilitating uh, entity that will make it simple, safe, and seamless for everyone, everywhere, in order to, add, to interact with the Web3 world. In that capacity, I really mean when I say please register on lace.io um, because your feedback will be invaluable for the future of Web3 interactions. On top of that, we are talking about partnerships, we are talking about collaborations. Um, so we've started our first collaboration with Terra Virtua um, and Cardano Warriors who are making special games and interactions for us to teach our users around the use of uh, of wallets and to, in, an, in a fun and interactive way. We're very excited to have them join us um, on, on this Web3 journey, uh, and we're hoping that you will join us as well. Thank you.